Andromeda Sports is a brand new game that is still in development that you can get on the App Lab store right now. I can't stress this enough. It's still in development. It's not done. However, I do have three free keys that I'm going to give away in this video. So stick around and I'm going to tell you exactly how. Let's go. This is a two person development team from España. That's Spain for those of you who don't speak Espan Spanish. Spanish. Called Canurse. Canurse. I like it. Who have developed this very different way of exercising in virtual reality. Something I've never seen before. Currently, the only sport available is cardio. Ah, my favorite sport, cardio. After playing this, I'm not sure what else could be added here, but you know, the cardio mode, it, it's good so far. My note to the developer is though, tread lightly because adding more doesn't always equal better. Do something and do it well. There's a reason you don't see me reviewing every single VR game that comes out. I'm niche, baby, niche. So let's look at what's available right now. As of January, 2022, we have a neon based cyber world. Yeah, what else is new? Where you are cyber skiing your way through different landscapes and environments. Now there's a few different movements you can do throughout this game, such as glide through gates, smash blocks, and punch things. I mean, what else do you need in this world? Those are the three things I can survive on. And I'm not gonna lie, for a two person game, this is a pretty solid solid setup. It's also a really cool idea. It has the graphic style of like Cybrix, which if you haven't checked that out, check out my video on Cybrix. How the current game works though, is like you're almost racing through this cyber world. Different movements make you do different things. It's mostly based on squatting and arm pulling. Pulling one arm steers you in that direction. Pulling the other one, well, steers you in the other direction. Pulling both arms at the same time puts up a shield. Squatting down sharpens your turn and standing up, well, Dulls your turn? I don't know. I actually don't know what the word is for the opposite of a sharp turn. Huh, interesting. There's also some parts where you go on rails where you're not steering, but you're punching blocks, which I found pretty cool. I typically complain about App Lab games having too many title screens. This one doesn't, but it does have a lengthy tutorial and it's almost too lengthy and it's got a lot of spelling errors in it. When that happens, we'll ruin you to the beginning of the level you are in. But because they are a Spanish development team, I forgive them. Oye, mi familia es de España. Avísame si necesitas ayuda para solucionar. And honestly, that's about all there is to say about this game at the moment. The steering's a little slippery and wonky, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes easier. It's a hard learning curve though, and I hope it's something that they fix. Feels a bit like you're on ice when you're steering. And as we all know from growing up, the ice levels are always everyone's favorite levels in any game, right? Because of the steering issues, it is easy to miss gates and then it's hard to get the next gate and the next gate and suddenly you're spinning out of control. But again, they need help with the feedback. So why don't you help them out and get yourself a key? Oh, you wanna know how to get a key? Comment below fart poop duty and your favorite video game ever made ever. I don't know, I just needed you to, I just need to give you a reason to watch the video longer than two seconds. Personally, I wish this game had a more on rails feeling where I didn't have to worry about aiming the, the, the ski sled, sled, the sled. We're gonna call it sled. Where you weren't aiming the sled so much. I almost wanted to have that SSX vibe where you like, you hit a thing and then it just takes over for you. That way I can focus more on the movement and less on the, steering but honestly it gets you squatting and working out without even realizing it which is a plus always a plus in vr the game gets progressively difficult as you level up and as you complete stages you're introduced to different types of movements such as the smashing blocks and the punching things the tutorial covers most of it but again the tutorial is unnecessarily long when you hit the blocks though i wish it was more gratifying i feel like if you're gonna hit blocks it needs to explode everywhere and to make the blocks appear, you pull both arms back. Now, when you're playing the game, this is gonna feel very counterintuitive, pulling to push. What I wish it was, I wish I could go faster by pulling. Like if there was a speed section where once I hit it, where I was on rails again, and I could just kind of like ski erg my way as fast as I can to get like some bonus points. I don't know, I'm just kind of riffing here, but I that's what I wish it would do. Eventually you'll lose and you'll get booed at, which is very frustrating for me. 
me. I hate that when you lose, you get booed at. It's one of my biggest complaints with Audio Trip as well. It's the when you miss out on something, it you know has an error sound much louder than you want. Currently, here's my advice to developers: fix the steering, shorten the tutorial, fix the spelling errors. Again, here to help if you need. Make this a two-player race to the finish, which there is an asynchronous mode for. Make it live, and then continue to work on making the graphics cleaner and prettier. Focus on cardio. Don't worry about adding more sports. Oh, and speaking of small developers, if you haven't checked out my Cybrix video, it's right here. Go ahead and take a look. My name is Ari from FitPro VR. Don't forget to get your workout in today. Okay.